What's up guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to teach you everything that you need to know to be able to play Caravan. So the goal of Caravan is to make three piles of cards, which are called Caravans, and make sure their value are between 21 and 26 without going above or below. The first player to get two or three Caravans to 26 before their opponent wins. At the start of your turn, you can either play a card and draw, discard a card and draw, or discard an entire caravan of your choice. This third option is only used if one of your caravans is too high and you are not able to save it using a jack. When building a caravan, you have to either stack the cards in ascending or descending numerical order and can only change that with a queen, which we will explain later. As for the cards themselves, the ace adds one to your total value. The number cards 2 through 10 add their respective number to your total value. The face cards are played on top of the number cards to have different effects. These can be placed on your opponent's caravans as well to counter them. The jack removes the card it's placed on. The queen changes the suit of your caravan to its own and the numerical direction of the caravan. The kings double the value of the card it's placed on. The jokers are the most complicated, however. When the joker is placed on an ace, it removes all cards of the same suit on the board, except for that ace itself. And for any other no numerical card that the joker is placed on, it just removes all copies of that card from the table. So both sides. Now that we've got all the basic rules out of the way, let's talk about deck building. So a good basic strategy for building a caravan deck is to just add as many 7s, 9s, 10s, and kings as you can to your deck. A few jacks don't hurt just in case your opponent tries to mess with you. The main idea is that your caravans will always stack in 10-9-7 order or 7-9-10 order to equal 26. Filling in the deck with some 6s and 8s can help in case you have to double one of those 10s or 9s and need a way to top off a caravan to 26. You still have room for a few more cards, some 2s and 3s never hurt, when you need a little extra push to get a caravan that's stuck between 23 and 25. And that is basically it. Now you too can play caravan like the pros. Alright guys, so this is the first game against Ringo. Um, I just went with the same strategy I was talking about. I put in 4 copies of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... King, Jack, and then I put in two twos because unfortunately you need to have a minimum of 30 cards. Uh, what I is this would be the best example because, well, this is sure. where everyone starts, and uh, I just wanted to show that this strategy works even at the beginning of the game. It'll obviously work better when you get more copies of these cards. But anyways, hope you guys found this video helpful, and have a good one.